Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to be talking about effective microorganisms. These are made by a local company already based off a Japanese technology, Dr. Higa. So EM is used for conditioning the soil and adding the good microbiology in the soil and balancing the bad and good microbiology. They're going to be showing us how to use the EM1 formula that they use. One bottle is about 550 pesos but you will dilute it in water and mix it with molasses to activate it and you can use it for I guess a long time. We're going to learn all that today and they're also going to show us how to make some mud balls. The mud balls are I think used as starters for plants. I'm not sure what are the other uses. We're going to hear that also today. We are just waiting for one more consultant to join us so that we can start this presentation. Right in front of me they already have a pile of dirt. One looks like carbonized rice hull and the other one just looks like dirt. So I think we're gonna mix all these ingredients to make some bokashi balls and some mud balls. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt the video here and voice over the sequence because uh, my microphone location in this shot is actually too far and you couldn't hear what Rose was explaining. So this is Rose. Rose is our consultant for effective microorganisms. And what she's saying in this in this uh, segment is effective microorganisms is composed of mixed microbial inoculants with beneficial bacteria. The inoculants in the bacteria are sleeping and to activate them we use molasses to feed them which we're going to show you somewhere later in the video. These are millions of microbes in the bottle that she's holding which is these bottles over here. So EM or effective microorganisms is composed of three major good bacteria. So you have yeast, lactic acid and photosynthetic bacteria. Now the lactic acid bacteria decomposes organic matter through fermentation. The lactic acid also carries the bad microbes away. Now the yeast also decomposes organic matter with fermentation but it produces a bioactive substance like enzyme. EM is also used for wastewater treatment and agriculture. It can be used to remove foul smell because of the photosynthetic bacteria. The government is actually starting to use it as some of their projects already. She recently did a seminar for the Office of Representatives in La Union where they wanted to spray the EM on the dump sites and treat the wastewater. So now we can go back to the video. Very simple, lang naman. actually very economical. Siya eh. Kasi 1 liter of EM1 EM1 plus 1 liter of molasses, you can produce 30 liters of EMAS. Mas importante, we have water. We can use the rain water, the deep well, but not the uh, chlorinated water. If chlorinated water, we need to... Uh, what do you call that? Pasingawin natin for oh. 24 hours. Stand for one day. Okay. Yun. Kasi mamamata yung ano. I just want to show you <laughs> our EM is see. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Basta make sure malinis ang kamay ha. You can even ano eh, may punas nyo, may ano nyo sa face, wala siya. So kapag ganito, we need to add on water kasi dapat we will not give space para sa gas. Kasi kapag mag-gas mo, so, 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 i-add on na natin. So, what, yung pag, si Winston, kapag nag-prepare tayo, kahit konti pa lang ang water, give space, uh, allowance. Kasi we need to add on water. So, 
Imagine nyo, yung 6 liters natin na EM1, we can produce 200 liters of EMAS and then 200 liters of EMAS can be diluted by ano, kasi 1 is to 100 para sa soil, para sa ano. So marami po. Yes, 1 is to 100. 2,000 liters. 2,000 liters, yes, that's true. Ang problema natin dito sa sink farm is yung acidity ng soil. So we need to treat the most of the water. Hindi mas na yun sir, hindi iya. It smells like the Baguio Fulangot. Ah, sticky? Yeah, sticky. Oh, yeah, sticky. The one in, in ano, sa bamboo stick, bamboo... I haven't had that at all. That, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm remembering. Yeah. Yeah, so that palangot, yeah, because that's made of molasses. May molasses yun, sir. Ah, yeah, that's how it smells the same. Yeah. It's a dark brown substance. Dilute 2,000 liters. So okay. once we get from here, we can dilute it further. Yes. So our 3.6 per 200 liters will extend to um, 2, liters of the almost 10 times the yes. volume. So basically 10 more drums. So 20 drums in total. Yeah. And then in making Bokashi, we need 1 liter of EM1, 1 liter of molasses, and then 5 liters of water. And then after mixing, uh, mga liquids which we try natin dapat pag okay na siya 40% moisture na you can form a ball and then pag ganyanin mo pwede ka so that's ano na okay na siya kasi hindi mas kaya concentrate mo rin dapat yung isa basta hindi siya no it smells like dessert yes yeah, kasi sir we can use sa para sa soy sa plant mas mag may CRH kasi mas mabilis siya mag ano at kayo ng diwan, darak. Para marikin sila. What's happening here is we're trying to get the consistency of the carbonized rice husk and the rice bran so that it will form and hold the ball. And it's the, the finger test. Okay, okay na siya. Then you can put your finger. As long as you can form, and then the moisture is 30 to 40 percent. Kasi sometimes, over water and you know, mag ano siya eh, meron siyang residue. So this one wala eh. Mag so siya. wala ka na pipiga. Wala, wala mang. Ah, uh, just to be clear when you do the finger test, it should break. Yeah. Ah, it should break. Okay. Kulang pa dito din. So it should form but when you press it it's okay. Okay. Come on. Kunti na lang. Mga 10% na lang. Pwede niyo sa i-mix o. So now, this, now this is Bokashi already. Okay. You, have to per, you have to keep for 40 days and then you can use after on the, ano, on the 50th. 40 days? 14, one four. Ah, 14. Where do we keep it? Black? Black. And in 14 days, you can use this one. On the 15th day, you can use that. Do we treat it also like fertilizer? Yes. Pwede niya nang gamitin sa soil. You can spread sa soil and for ano. Okay. Proceed na tayo sa how to make matching na EM. One molasses and uh, bokasi. This is the finished product. The finished product. EM models. So the size should be like ano lang ha, hindi malaki. Maga ito po mas. Oh, ito lang parang tennis ball. Parang tennis ball. Tennis ball. Okay naman yun. Need to press lang kasi because of the soil, no? And then what's the curing time for this one? 14 days ma'am. Same with me. Everything's 14, 14 days. 14 days, huh? very lucky number. <laughs> but our aim is 7 days. Ma and then after this one, mag ano tayo, we need to spray mist only. Uh, emas. The one and then mixed by Elgin. And again, what's the use for this one? For, for wastewater treatment, for lagoons. Removing for, uh, smells. Smells and... To purify water. 
purification. To purify water, water, yes. ah. water purification. But the application for farm is for mostly livestock when you're taking care of smells. Ah, like. yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma but for our farm, anong application namin? Application, you have lagoons here, ma'am. You have, you have fish tank here. No. Uh, yes, pero di, ma, di, di naman maamoy. Eh. Di naman. Pero yung water, yung, kasi we need to treat muna, especially kung it's a plus na you put some before, and look, before loading mga fingerlings, dapat treated yung ating, ating pan para to, to avoid future problems. So, kailangan natin ito. Ready? Okay, in three, two, one, throw! Don't forget the other pond. Okay, who can shoot in the pipe? <laughs> Alright guys, we just finished the demo and I think we're gonna end the vlog here. If you guys wanna know more about EM, then you can contact uh, these guys. They are the EM official distributors here in the Philippines. And oh, it's so hot. I catch my breath. But yes, hopefully you learned something new. In summary, EM is effective microbiology that we are using to help increase the soil fertility. And the other stuff that we're producing also is to help with wastewater treatment, which is the mud balls. And then the bokashi, I guess the bokashi grains, which is also used as fertilizer. Pretty cool stuff. Hopefully it can help us fast track what we're growing here on the farm. But for now, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.